911 calls now being released as the FBI investigates a shocking murder in the heartland. Police in Oklahoma say a man beheaded a woman at a food plant and stabbed another woman. Co-workers tell police the suspect, 30-year-old Alton Nolan, had been trying to convert them to Islam. Trace Gallagher is live with this shocking story. Trace. And right now, Shannon, it's very unclear if the suspect's beliefs in Islam played a role in this, but it appears that the victims were not targeted. They just happened to be the first ones to encounter this man, the suspect, 30-year-old Alton Nolan. They say that Nolan had just been fired from his job, that he actually took a car, drove around to the front of the business, ran into another vehicle, then walked into the front office with a produce knife and began stabbing a 54-year-old woman. He then beheaded her. He then started to stab another woman. That's when the scene CFO of the food company, Mark Vaughn, who is also a reserve deputy sheriff, shot the suspect multiple times. Listen now to the 911 call because you can hear the suspect in the background. Play this. So we don't know where the person went. He went through our front office, went to the shipping office, he okay. stabbed a woman in our customer service department. Okay. Can you hear this in the background? Is that him? He's back? Yeah, it sounds like he's running around out here. Okay. And that, that's a gunshot. Got gunshot. Sure. Yeah, we don't know if the suspect was fired because he was trying to convert people to Islam, but the FBI is now looking into his background and, of course, looking into the question of domestic terrorism. We know that the suspect, Alton Nolan, did go to prison for assaulting a state trooper after a traffic stop back in 2010. He then led police on a 12-hour manhunt in the woods. But in the case of the stabbing, police say the off-duty deputy saved lives. Listen. He's obviously a hero in this situation. It's very tragic that someone did lose their life, but it could have gotten a lot worse. This, this guy definitely was not going to stop. He didn't stop until he was shot. The suspect and the second victim are said to be stable in a hospital right now, Shannon, and it's still unclear if he was also trying to behead the second victim that police are trying to figure out, Shannon. Yeah, as much as some folks may want to, we cannot ignore the potential implications. We're going to talk more about this case later on in the hour. Trace, thank you very much. Back with me now, Oklahoma County Sheriff John Wetzel, who was at the scene after the attack. Sheriff, good to see you uh, again. So you said that you have spoken uh, with Mark Vaughn. I want to ask whether you've spoken to his family and how they are as well. I have. I spoke to his uh, wife yesterday. Uh, we had her come down to the Moore Police Department after we took him down there. Uh, she was able to rejoin him at that point in time, and um, she's, she's holding up very well. She's very supportive. Uh, she understands uh, not only his role as a businessman, but also his role as a vol citizen volunteer as a reserve deputy. Can you tell us where the shooter was shot, where in his body? I, I really can't. Um, you know, one of the things that we purposely didn't do was ask Mark specific questions okay. about the incident. Um, our role really was to be supportive of him rather than the crime itself. And I mean, I know that you went to the crime scene. Um, I, you know, there's, there's no reason to go through the gruesome details, but can you describe the state of the witnesses and, and the law enforcement on site? Um, uh, law enforcement uh, presence from the Moore Police Department, from the Oklahoma Highway Patrol, um, was very heavy around the the plant. But were they um, traumatized? I mean, this is not something that you trained to see or probably ever have seen. No, I spoke with one of the one of the officers who was in who went inside uh, the facility. Um, I mean, it it was a horrific sight, uh, and that's really kind of all they expressed. Our first, um, you know, the first concern we had even with Mark was the fact that we knew his training from his training not only as a reserve but also as a member of our uh, SWAT team. We knew that uh, the shooting would not be the incident that would draw uh, the most trauma. It would